Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another video of SpaceX updates. In this video, let us see what are the latest updates from Starbase, progress at the Roberts Road facility, SpaceX's latest launch, a few upcoming launches, and a few other additional space updates. The weather is still not great at Starbase. It is misty and overcast conditions over the SpaceX launch site in South Texas. A few days ago, Starship Gazer shared some photos of the launch site. Here we can see a new tent has been set up near the orbital launch mount. The cladding on the orbital launch integrated tower is quite clearly visible now. This is a good indication that the orbital test flight is not that far. Interestingly, there is a huge scaffolding surrounding Starship S24. Many tiles are also missing on the ship. I'm not sure what is going on there. Do the removed tiles need more adhesion or are they going to install upgraded heat shield tiles? We will find out soon. At the Roberts Road facility in Florida, we can see that things are moving fast. At least five new tower segments for a third Starship launch tower are already at the site. Hangar X is looking almost complete from the outside. At the launch pad, we can see new ground support equipment installed for Starship operations. But we are still to see the rollout of the orbital launch table. As Sam Patel, Senior Director of Starship Operations formerly at Starbase is now in charge of Pad 39A, the construction of Starbase 2.0 may be completed much earlier than we expected. Against harsh weather conditions, with only 30% favorable for launch, SpaceX launched its 53rd mission of the year on Tuesday. Falcon 9 Booster B-1049 launched Eutelsat's Hotbird 10B mission. This particular booster was on its 11th and final mission. After stage separation, the booster self-immolated during re-entry. This was the third Falcon 9 booster that SpaceX expended in November alone. NASA's SpaceX cargo resupply mission, CRS-26 mission to the ISS is now set to launch tomorrow from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. An earlier attempt to launch the mission on Tuesday was scrubbed due to bad weather. Liftoff is currently scheduled at 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time with only a 30% chance of violating the weather for launch. This will be SpaceX's 54th mission of the year and 5th for the month of November with a few more launches to come. Japanese private aerospace company, iSpace is now targeting November 30th for its M1 lunar lander mission. This mission was pushed all the way to the end of the month due to bad weather on its previously targeted launch dates. We will see a handful of Falcon 9 launches before November ends. Let us hope the weather cooperates with the rockets. Rocket Lab's preparation for its first launch from the U.S. soil is going smoothly. Recently, the company conducted a successful wet dress rehearsal test at Launch Complex 2 at NASA's Wallops Launch Range in Virginia. The mission is scheduled for launch on December 7 with Hawkeye 360 as its customer payload. Finally, to end the video, India is ready to launch its last mission of the year. ISRO's PSLVC-54 mission will launch Earth Observation Satellite 6 and 8 nanosatellites into two different orbits. The launch is scheduled for tomorrow, November 26, 2022, at 11.56 a.m. local time. That is it for this video. I hoped you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.